Welcome to Brick Math, teaching and learning math using Lego bricks. It's easy to get started teaching math by modeling with Lego bricks. The techniques work no matter what subject you're teaching. Counting in cardinality, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, or fractions. In this video, we're going to cover the essential components of teaching with Brick Math books. By the end of this video, you'll be ready to take this method into your classroom and help your students make math fun. Let's start with some basic brick vocabulary. This will help you and your students comprehend the lessons as they are presented. Bricks come in many different sizes, but what you count on the brick is called the stud. The size of a brick is determined by its studs. For example, this is a 1x1 one one brick. This is a 1x2 brick, a 1x3 brick, a 2x2 two two brick, a 2x4 brick, and so on. Get students used to describing the bricks in this way. Brick models are built on base plates. With a base plate, the models stay in place. Without a base plate, models fall apart. After students build their brick models, it's very helpful to have them draw their models on base plate paper. Research shows that the best process for building student comprehension includes modeling, then drawing the models, and then writing explanations of what was built. The appendix in each Brick Math book has different sizes of base plate paper that you can photocopy for your students. Alternatively, if your students have the companion student editions called learning books, the base plate paper is printed right along with questions, problems, and assessment activities. What you need. You'll need some basic Lego bricks for yourself and for all your students to get these lessons going. Every chapter shows the number and size of bricks you'll need to do all the activities in that chapter. Plus, there's a brick inventory for the whole series that lists all the bricks needed for every subject in brick math. If you need bricks, you can purchase brick sets specially designed for brick math that work for either one student or can be shared between two students. The books. The brick math teaching books are easy to use. They start with the simplest concepts and gradually move toward more complex ones. Each chapter explores a specific skill. Every lesson is built on a series of steps, and the steps give you prompts to ask your students specific questions. The illustrations show the brick models you and your students will build. You can start with any chapter, depending on what your students are learning. How to teach. Each chapter begins with a section called Show Them How. Working through each of the numbered steps, you show students how the math works by building brick models that you show to your students. Some teachers show their models using a document camera, and others hold them up in front of the group or pass the model around. Your method will depend on how many students you're working with at one time. Then, students build those same models and then draw those models. Illustrations are provided every step of the way to give you and your students clear direction for better understanding of the math concepts. When your students are comfortable with part one, move on to part two called Show What You Know. Each step in this section prompts the teacher to ask students to build brick models to show that they understand the concepts learned in part one. This time, you'll let the students build the models themselves. The teaching books show illustrations of what you can expect students to build in response to your questions. Students can work individually or together in pairs to build these models. After building their models, students will draw their models, label their drawings, write equations, and explain them in writing. All of these steps contribute to a student's deep understanding of math. Companion Student Books the companion student books, called learning books, are convenient ways to help students follow along with you. These books have an assessment at the end of each chapter, so you can be sure everyone has learned the concepts. And each book also has a student assessment chart, so you can track each student's individual progress. Final tips. You can use the Brick Math program in many different ways. One, in a guided math small group format, a teacher can easily guide four to six students. Two, after you have worked through the part one, show them how section to introduce the topic, students can work at a station or center for independent practice. Three, these books can be used as remediation for students having trouble with standard math teaching strategies. Four, you can use the assessments to gauge student understanding in a performance-based format. Five, the Brick Math books can be a tool to help parents engage with their children's homework. Six, in a whole class setting. 
To see the Brick Math method in action, there are several short videos for each of the six subjects. Just choose your subject and watch a few to see examples of activities from the teaching books. Then you'll be ready to teach Brick Math. For more information, visit us on the web at BrickMath.com or our Facebook page, Teaching Math Using Lego Bricks. Thank you for watching and good luck.